Let's do it. You inspire me, that <laughs> thank you, man. Anyway, guys, right? So hi, YouTube, right? <laughs> Uh, so guys, let's let's work a little bit on, on some tips for sculpting, right? Real quick. Is the Twitch chat going? Yeah, you're gonna be showing up on Twitch. Uh, and on YouTube, I mean. Right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, I had Susan right here for orientation purposes, so I don't get lost. Uh, one of the things that I like doing is just creating another viewport, right? You can do that by either dragging uh, in this little corner right here that's almost invisible, or you can just like, right click. Dude, I, I'm going at 300 miles per hour again. Oh my god. Ooh, calm down. Anyway, so I just right click. You can just right click in the, you know, in the, in any of the separation, I guess, of the uh, of the mini windows that you have inside of Blender. Right click, and then vertical split, horizontal split, you do you, whatever makes you feel happier, right? In this case, I'm just going for this one. There's one another one uh, for various reasons. First, I like watching, like see, being able to see the silhouette of the whole thing, how the whole thing is going. And number two. Uh, this brings my tools closer to me and that saves me just a little bit more time in the long run right now the next thing that I like doing in this one is just turn off every, turn everything up in this one right just turn it all off because this is just for me to see right um, and then I just add a, a UV sphere uh, I subdivided uh, twice apply the subdivision and you can move it up whatever you prefer how you doing pedro uh i still want to keep susan right now just again orientation purposes now when we're here let me make this move this there we go kind of like that uh there's a few brushes that i like using a lot uh number one like please remember to enable symmetry if you want to have symmetry uh one of the things that i like using is a grab tool because it's great for creating base shapes of things, right? Uh, another thing that I use a lot is the crease brush because it's like uh, right now you can see because I need to first change these settings for these. Uh, I normally go for a strength of between 0.5 and 0.7 uh, with the file of with a sharper file of right. It's gonna create like it's kind of like this one. Uh, what is this name? Uh, draw sharp, but it's Kind of like it it's, has a combination of that and a pinch, which is really good. But anyway, uh, I start by you know just creating the overall shape of the torso, right? This is really gonna you know be different depending on the style that you get. And then now that I have these hourglass, hourglass figure because I do pinup ladies, I guess. Uh, now I go to the side view and then just push that in a little bit. And there we go. We have the base for the base for a torso, right? Now at this point, uh, let's see. What do I like doing at this point? Uh, at this point, you can either keep refining the shape a little bit. Like for example, this is where the boot is gonna be, right? And, and now I need a little bit more detail, right? Uh, you can go for Dynetubo if you know how to use it. Me personally, I don't like using Dynetubo, pro uh, you know, properly. Uh, so I just don't use it. I use instead voxel remesh that you can find under object data properties. Uh, it's right here on the remesh thing. Let me move it up. There we go. It's right here. Voxel. You can change the voxel side, or you can use shift. Uh, let me enable this. There we go. So you guys can see the shortcut, right? Uh, if you press shift R, you're gonna bring up the uh, voxel size uh, grid, right? Uh, let's go for. Something like that for now. And then you can apply by, press, by pressing Ctrl R. See? And if I turn this off on now, let's see. Wireframe. Then let me. Anyway, you can see that now the topology has changed a little bit. Uh, you will be doing this uh, a lot as we progress. Right? And now, like for example, for the booty, one of the tools that I like using is a blood brush. Because, uh, well, you'll see why, right? There you go. Kind of have a booty going on. It's a little bit too much, but you're just moving in a little bit. And there we go. So far, I'm using my mouse and keyboard only. Uh, eventually, I will dive in with the... Uh... In fact, right now, I'm going to use my pen. Um, and this is where I normally go in with the, uh, with the crease brush. Right? 
and then just kind of like accentuate the, uh, the shapes a little bit and start doing some landmarks, right? Let me turn off the grid, the floor, and the axis because I don't need them anymore. Uh, Susan, uh, actually, you know what, Susan, let's do something. There we go. We are, we're turning Susan into a waifu. Uh, and again, just keep going at it. Like, you can use this one if you prefer. Uh, it's really up to you and your preferences. Whatever makes it easy for you. Right? And... Yeah, at some point you're gonna need more uh, topology. And when that happens, just again, Chief R. Bring the grid up again. And then just go a little bit smaller. And reapply with Control R, right? Again, more landmarks. At uh, this point, if you want more, if you want to, uh, you know, fix the booty a little bit, you can again keep using the blob brush. The beautiful thing about Blood Brush is that as opposed to the Inflate Brush that is just going to inflate everything, Blood Brush is just going to create a bulb, right? If you just do it here in a single, but it's just going to create this sphere, which is great for doing this kind of thing. You can also use this tool to make boobs if you like, see? And then just, you know, refine them and shape them however you prefer. Normally I just use spheres for this, but I guess for the tutorials, and since it's sculpting, I guess this will work just fine, right? Uh, to make a main source, it will be the same thing. Uh, again, this is more of like the techniques that I use better. Like, it doesn't really matter the kind of content you're using, the, the kind of content you're doing. Like, if your, uh, your character is that symmetrical, of course, you don't need to turn on uh, symmetry, maybe you just want to have a more uh, organic approach, traditional approach to this thing, uh, and in which case you can also turn off symmetry if you just want to uh, do it for the challenge, right? There we go, we can have a torso now. The stand you're looking beautiful. If you want, another thing that I normally do is I just uh, change the material. Uh, I, I like this one better, uh, but like, again, whatever works for you. Uh, let's fix this thing real quick. Thank you so much. Welcome, Park. Uh, I don't know if I should be doing that, if this is going to be a thing for YouTube, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. Doing my best. Okay. Please excuse the, uh, the alerts and stuff. Right, and once we're done with the landmarks, so now if you want to add arms, like legs, uh, there's a few things that you can go about it. Me, personally, I like just adding cylinders, right? Going to edit mode by pressing tab, place it at around the place, you know, around the location. You don't need to be like extremely precise, and then just grab the button and then just stretch that out, right? And at this point, I just add a few loops here and there. Uh, just add as many as you think you need. Uh, you don't need to go too crazy. Uh, let me make these slightly... Um, I'm using proportional to do this scaling, right? If you press O, which is this thing over here, it's gonna create this uh, area, right? That it's gonna... This area basically means that everything on inside of it is gonna be affected by the transformation that you're doing, right? If you move it, and move like this as opposed to like this, right? I just want to make this a little bit slimmer. I don't, it doesn't really matter really since most of the things that we're going to be doing are going to be happening in sculpt mode, right? For this, uh, let's do a mirror. Apply a transformation just in case. Apply the mirror as well, right? And then let's just refine, refine this whole thing. Again, for legs, like you want to use shapes and movements that, you know, go, kind of resemble, resemble uh, the style that you're going for. Am I re yeah, I'm actually recording. Ooh, I was a little bit concerned for a second there. Right? 
going like that like quickly you don't need to be again you don't need to be too precise and you're gonna be refin refining these quite a bit let me grab the inflate brush and now let's go in here with a little bit of uh, actually it's time to do this shift r bring up the uh, voxel size resolution thing then Control r to apply and now we can actually inflate and inflate some parts right and now we go in with the crease brush to make and landmarks create the shapes that we need Go. And now for the arms, we pretty much do the same. We add another cylinder right over here, scale it down, and turn off proportional right over here. Make it a little bit longer. There we go. I'm not gonna be doing hands uh, these tutorial guides. That takes hands and feet. They take a little bit longer. Maybe I'll do that for some of the time. Uh, let's make a little bit of a space for the shoulder, right? And uh, let's do a meter modifier. Apply transformations. Apply the meter modifier. Uh, in this case, we're gonna go for. Let me change this. There we go. Perspective mode. And again, the deep blood brush is amazing. Uh, it's amazing to create shoulders as well. Just make the thing. And there we go. Place it in there. It, it's amazing, Pedro. It's, ama it's standard. We're making her beautiful. Uh, and there we go. The one thing that is freaking me out is how long the neck is, but I guess, I don't know. It's gonna be part of, part of her charm, I guess. Um, anyway, now in this case, again, add a bunch of poly loops if you need them, right? If you want, you don't have to do this. You can just go straight to the uh, voxel remeshing uh, whole situation. But please, if you do this thing, that you apply the mirror and then make details, uh, and on one side and forget to turn off symmetry you can control set a bunch of times or just press uh, a space or, F or f3 it kind of depends on how you set it uh, how you set it up when you install blender in my case it's f3 uh, this is just a ser the search box and then just look for symmetrize right if it's symmetrizing the side that you don't want keep in mind that down here you're gonna have these little box and you can change the direction if you want, if you want it to be in like the other, the opposite direction, just switch uh, to plus x to minus x as opposed to minus x to plus x, which is the default, right? Let's do this. Boom. There we go. Go here in sculpt mode. Make sure that we have symmetry enabled. Let me give me a little bit more space because I need it now, right? And there we go. Just make the movements that you think you need, right? Uh, let's inflate this a little bit. Inflate this another little bit. Go. Let's de inflate this, inflate this, de inflate this, inflate it a little bit. Maybe a little bit more topology and smooth that out. Uh, let's inflate these overall. If at any point you need to inflate the overall uh, volume, right, of your mesh, uh, keep in mind that you have the mesh filter brush. Uh, and then, like up here, you're gonna have different settings. Uh, for as default, it's gonna be inflate, and that's what we're using right now then just drag to the side click and drag to the side a little bit until you're happy right and then we go in and now once you're ready if you want to merge everything into a single piece you can use the boolean modifier or in this case you can just like select everything in object mode press ctrl j it's gonna be joined as one single beautiful thing go into sculpt mode and then just recalculate the uh voxel remesh thing and there we go 
we have a quick body and uh, yeah this is how I approach sculpting uh, more detail oh no we need to fix this hold up before we leave let's fix this thing this is not how bad views work this is why I normally have another one no I don't want to do that uh, this is why I normally have another one that only shows me the back that sort of things doesn't happen Fix this a little bit. There we go. And there we go. Let's move that out. Move that down. Out. Inflate it a little bit. Now let's move that in. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's how I sculpt the body really quickly, I guess. Uh, this thing's this thing still needs a lot of work, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics. Uh, now I'm awkward because I have to end this thing. I'm just gonna stop recording.